Well, you clearly clicked on this video because of the title and it will not disappoint. It's not clickbaity when the actual information is true, Jason. Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, the two staples of world football, often assumed to be the highest paid players in the world of sports, never mind just uh, football. But it so happens, this little thing called Chinese uh, soccer has just suddenly decided that they're going to compete with some of the world's best by paying their way to the top. So therefore, the man who is top of the list, Jason, of the highest, or should I say best paid player in the world is... Lord Bentner. Lord Bentner. Come on down. Ah, he checked out. All right, next in line. Now, it's Lavezzi, who, uh, of course, as we know, made a big money move from PSG uh, over to the Chinese Premier League. Jason, hit me with some sort of statistics that this guy's making. Quotes. First one on Lavezzi, specifically how much money he's making per week. However, his newly leaked contract <laughs> reveals that it is paid even more handsomely than previously thought. The alleged figure would make him... The best paid footballer in the world. Oh! With a very mediocre salary by the week of 493,000 pounds. Jason, you know what that is? Uh, it's like $25. Uh, the next, <laughs> it's not $25, it's like $600,000. I love how that joke just immediately cracked you Yeah, up. it makes me laugh. <laughs> uh, and that's all I care about. I don't need you guys. Uh, next quote, by the way, just to put in perspective to where... Uh, the big Messi and Ronaldo contracts are. By contract, Messi is still, still yet to resign. And he is believed to earn around the tiny fee of £270,000 a week. Some £223,000 less than the 31-year-old Levetsi, Messi's rival. Real Madrid's Cristiano Ronaldo signed a new five-year deal last month at a reported £365,000 per week. Why don't they teach you, why don't they teach soccer better in America? I don't get it. It's... Why not? That is an astounding amount of money. Why not? Astounding. Look, I play, I'll go play in the Chinese Premier League. I would definitely do it. They're offering big money. They I want could possibly closing. be appointed to uh, the head of U.S. ambassadorship to China. Well, if you go there and you succeed, you can succeed in anything, as we've seen. Christ uh, I was going to say Christian Bale. Christian Bale's on a lot of money. But Gareth Bale is making his <laughs> way up the contract ladder. Um, so, I don't know. To, there's nothing to put into perspective other than uh, the way that China is trying to approach their attack on football to try and take over. It's so similar to the way they like just approach business. Like the US is ahead, you know what? Fuck the world. We don't have any environmental issues. We don't have anything else to care about. Put all your money into business. Boom, all of a sudden we are going to see the world get a lot hotter as you expect, but you might not believe in climate change. I'm not getting into politics on this. So the way they're doing it on football is the exact same thing. We are just gonna buy our way to the top. We're gonna put all our money into these players to try and attract them to play in our league, regardless of the conditions or how it ends up. And all of a sudden, you can't, re you can't attract as many as you think, so you're gonna have to settle with the second tier. It also tier. puts the players in a, in a unique position because of, look at like for Levetsi, for example, 31 years old, as the Still highest play. paid per week player. It's not so much that he can play, but any other contract, let's say if he wanted to go back to English Premier League, La Liga, Syria, it doesn't matter, right? If he were to come back over, they can't pay him half that amount. No. Well, they probably could, but they would never pay him half that amount even uh, per week, I'm saying. So it puts some players in a unique position if they want their payday, which certain players, and I'm going to use a quick baseball example, Zach Greinke, who has said multiple times, every time he signs it, I'm going where the money is. I don't care what team's going to put me in the best position to win. I'm going where the money was. So he went to the Dodgers, and then after the Dodgers didn't want to give him the same amount as the Diamondbacks, he went to the Diamondbacks. It just puts you in a position of there are players who aren't playing as much for the shirt as they're paying for the play, paying, playing for the paycheck. I think Lavezzi is, uh, there's certain players that I could r rhyme off, maybe like five or six, top class, quality players that are soon going to be just looking to make those moves. To yeah, get me. the retirement I'm fund. About to, I'm, looking, I'm looking for my yeah, retirement yeah. fund, 25. Yeah, yeah, Turi is one of them. Um, I think that he's, even though he got blessed with a nice 90 minutes recently where he banged in a couple of goals, he'll probably move to China sometime soon. Wayne Rooney has been touted there. I still think he's got a little bit to give. But these are the players in a similar bracket because... It's probably bad for MLS too, by the way. If well, yeah, exactly. Out, like, at, when they normally retire to the MLS, they might retire to China. The MLS were on retirement road and then this big, fancy new retirement industry came in and they've got all the new essentials. They've probably got golf in every room by the size of it. They've probably got other elderly 
females looking to get down at night, they've just got a bigger, better, lucrative option than Have the MLS. Been to China? Never. Ever. <laughs> just made, they just fucking rail it off. <laughs> I'm, talking, I'm making all that as a comparison to the amount of money they're going to offer. That's what's lucrative. France is like right before the clip. China. China. Oh, Spa. Golf! <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm there. Uh, but the retirement home that is the MLS, it's a valid point. They're, you, they're used to, they're not, I think they're moving a, slightly more away from that. I think they've learned a lesson like Nigel de Gong came in, was shocking for the Galaxy, and they're like, all right, why don't we just not invest that much in him and we'll invest in some other useful players that could actually deliver some talent. But China doesn't care. They're, trying, they're gonna offer as much money as they possibly can to bring in some of these bigger players. Uh, we've already seen uh, Jackson Martinez go there oh, which from right Atletico there. Madrid, I, this a guy was, this that was in all, his prime. This big shift happened in 2015. The yeah. two transfer windows were all of a sudden, it was like, what, Jackson Martinez? So, I mean, look, Hey man, it's up to the players. They they want their paychecks. They can go get their paychecks. I'm never gonna really rag on a player like Lavezzi or Jackson Martinez for getting paid that amount of money. If they want to do it, good for them. Good I for would rag making I, money. I'm slightly different when it comes to players. That I I don't know. It's just my selfish side, but I want to see them reach the potential. Like if you're gonna be, if you're Tom that, Cleverly. Just do not buy it. Everything goes. You know what? I'm going to China. Make my money. All right, Tom. Have a safe flight. But if you are I don't know, uh, Leroy Sani, just signed with Manchester City, big money transfer, leaves when, the, when I, I want to see. I want to see what you've got to offer. I don't watch the Chinese Premier League. Unless it comes onto a channel near you, I won't be able to see you reach that potential. That's just my selfish side, hey, so I apologise for that. More players that go there, there's more chance that there will be a channel near us. With but it. what's the time difference? We need to get up really like, a different time. Remember, Francis, the, 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 the El Clasico was on at 6 a.m. here. It was 7.30. My morning coffee. Manche- then it was then it was the one it was the Manchester Derby or Arsenal Man City. One of these major ma- was at four thirty a.m. Do you not remember when the the World Cup happened in Korea and um, was there not like tape, games that were on? Delay. Yeah, it was not games here in L.A. that people were like three or four in the morning. The two thousand ten World Cup. Uh, which I was in when, South Africa. Was in South Africa, which is it was we were streaming it on our phones somehow. Uh, during graduation, um, and the U.S. scored. That was Landon Donovan's goal, high school graduation. And the whole four people and, jumped up. And no, no, like we all were watching because oh, it it's Cup. the World Cup, yeah. so we're all big and we're all freaking out. And all the parents in the stands are like, "Get you guys, shh, what the fuck is going on with the ceremony? We're having us fire one. <laughs> Go to the next stage. <laughs> all right, we'll figure out a way to stream it. All right. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Will you be tuning in to the Chinese Premier League? Yep. Were you surprised that Lavezzi leads the list? on the highest paid players yep. in the footballing world. Jason Rubin 91 Francis underscore Maxwell gives a follow on both Twitter and then on Instagram, it's Francis Maxwell host and Jason Rubin 91 as well. Hit that subscribe button, it goes a long way. Catch you soon.